Hello guys and welcome to Game Time and where we review, do reviews and talk about the latest news of gaming. You know, this is Code 750 GTV, Game Gears and Girls TV. So, we're going to start by today talking about Red Steel. Then talk about Obscure the Aftermath. Hmm. Is this really the aftermath or before the math? Remember that. So, man, you know, um, first of all, welcome to the game show. This is this is the first episode. So, um, you know, my name is the. They call me um, Greeny. You know, you you could call me um, Green Ears or what whatever you want to call me. Call me Max. Okay, I'm just here doing my job, and um, I'm the I'm the director of this um show. So. If you need help directing, holla baby. So, um, you know, just pass it on. You know. Um, yeah, man, you know, this is me. And, um, uh, turn this out of the way, man. Yeah. So, let's get this thing started. You know, um, uh, with Ray Steel. The games on that, it was kind of, the controls is crazy, man. You know? I mean,. I couldn't even I couldn't even slice the sword straight, man. It's crazy. The gun pointing. I tried, man. The game is good, but you know, I can't really shoot straight if I can't kill the nigga. Man, let's get to this stuff or what, man? Let's look. Games available at a console's launch are often difficult to figure out. There's always the games you had high hopes for that end up falling on their face. And then there are the games that no one expected to be good that end up delivering. Red Steel falls into both categories. At one time, it was heralded as the rebirth of the first person action game. But after a couple lackluster showings, some of the glitz faded. Now that we've played the final version, we found that it falls somewhere in the middle. But is it worth your launch cash? <laughs> Oh my god, what happened to you? It's rare that European developers try to create games based upon other cultures, but that's exactly what you have with Red Steel. This French developed game takes you through the underbelly of the Japanese Yakuza underground as you attempt to rescue your fiance. from the nefarious gangsters. There are certainly points where it seems like the developers haven't exactly grasped the concept with both hands. The script comes off like it was written by someone attempting to translate Japanese into English. With mixed results. You remember when we first met? You told me that I was a spoiled brat. Red Steel also shows some signs of being rushed out the door for launch. The story is primarily told through still images and some real-time cinemas that may have been better left on the cutting room floor. We must free them and rid ourselves of the woman who has insulted us. With that said, the story eventually becomes gripping enough to get you through the course of the game as you uncover your future father-in-law's crooked past. You'll also attempt to convince six Yakuza clan leaders to rebel and join your side against Tokai, the punk who stole your girl. It's above average prose for a video game, but it certainly could have been shared in a much more dynamic, creative way. This cannot be tolerated. This is a game of two personalities. On one side, you have first person shooting, and on the other, you have first person so
play. When and where you take on either is determined entirely by the game. And so that was our review of Red Steel. The Red Steel gets a three out of five. It gets a three because it's so far as an action game. Usually, you know, Nintendo don't have that. You know, I mean, most of the time it's Pikmin or Animal Crossing, but we give it a three because at least it has some weapons and guns and stuff. You know, we all like the action and stuff. We like to shoot and shoot some people. So, yep, a three out of five. And um, we gonna stay tuned because we gonna be talking about obs obscure the aftermath. How scary is that?